It's the taxpayer-funded insurance company intended to help people who cannot get insurance elsewhere. But today, Citizens Property Insurance is defending itself against accusations of unethical, irresponsible behavior. My team investigator Michael George is here with that story. Michael? Well, Wendy, there's accusations of managers getting drunk on business trips, big severance checks to disgraced employees, and the people who exposed the unethical behavior were fired by Citizens Insurance President. But today he told the company's governing board the media is to blame. The last time I looked around, we were still in the United States of America. And we still have some basic rights, and, and those rights, by the way, include Innocent until proven guilty. Citizens Insurance President Barry Gilway blames the media for exaggerating the negative actions of a few employees. These accusations all came to light in this internal citizens report obtained by the media. The report claims on a business trip to a bar in Tampa, an HR manager got drunk and told a subordinate he was fired. Another employee allegedly ran a sex toy business out of a citizen's office. And in a separate incident, an employee was given a nearly $80,000 severance while under investigation for inappropriate behavior. Gilway says he doesn't condone the actions of employees. Yeah, I think they're disgusting in many cases, but let's not tarnish the reputation, <coughs> excuse me, of 99.9% of citizens' employees. But Gilway fired the four employees who wrote the report that exposed these accusations. Sean Shaw is a former insurance consumer advocate. He listened to Gilway's comments by phone and says the public's trust in citizens has been damaged. If this phone call was their attempt to restore the public's confidence in them, uh, I think they better try again. Citizens insurance officials point out the alleged misconduct happened under the previous president. We have a new day in this company and we will win back the credibility of this company in the eyes of the public. And Governor Scott has now asked the state's chief inspector general to investigate the firings of the four employees. I'm my team investigator Michael George, ABC Action News. Michael